All right, they've just started time. We should get the handshake. Here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we are coming to you live from the Atlanta System Open. Um, yeah, interesting picture. I'm sure you're thinking this. Uh, we have <laughs> Ian Hamp giving me, giving me the shrug shoulders and thumbs up. Uh, if you're watching live, you know why. So, sorry for the shadows. Uh, we're in an atrium, and there's all these really cool windows, but the problem with really cool windows is they cast light all over the place, and the, the light's moving. I was able to get the dice box cover, so we shouldn't have any interference with seeing the dice. Uh, but you got that nice, beautiful shadow of, uh, of what the setup looks like. There you go. There's your preview of what it all looks like. So, on the left here, we have Della Killingsworth flying the always loved quad phantoms very good list very good list uh she came to win um on the right side we have kaylin pritchard bringing uh, a list known as the fives by a lot of people the initiative five resistance we have elo asti nine numb tally and lulo rounding out the list um both both lists has have really good um you know, a lot of tools in there. Kaylin has what might be look like look like an advantage with the initiative, but honestly, the Phantoms they want to move first. They want to make sure that they have all the space they can to decloak and move with uh, being able to get their focuses and the evades. We're gonna get the poll up here in a second, so you guys can choose your champion. But I want to say thank you everybody for joining us today. Uh, we started off in pre-show. If you look down there on their bottom left-hand corner, you see 133 subs. Oh, look at this. Kaylin coming out fast. That is uh, that is Tally there. Zoom in. No. I love my Twitch chat. <laughs> All righty. Going for the shadow. <laughs> oh man, this this looks terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get that uh, Twitch pull up here in a minute. So, do you think Della will win with her quad phantoms, or will Kaylin win the day? with the resistance. That should be popping up on the screen any second now. One for Della, two for Kaylin. Choose your champion. And I'm sorry, sorry the pink A-wing is in fact Tally, not Lulo. So Lulo is the one that is not marked. Let's go ahead and get that on our overlay so that we don't get confused. Now we have uh, Della's phantoms uh, marked with different colors there. I'm going to go ahead and adjust something. I'll be right back. All right, back and ready. So looking at Della's phantoms, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and mark them here for what she has set up. Um, on the top, she's got green. Followed by number pink, everybody's favorite color. But how do you feel about it being on a, on a, on a phantom? That's the real question. <laughs> we got orange and we have gray first time we're using gray Let's see how that works out Bree Max 2 saying my dad is there well hello to your papa who's your dad maybe I'll, maybe I'll say hi Oof, man. 
Got to love this son. So, yeah, Kalen is going in hard. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and just hide the dice box until we need it. Isofan says, make chat, wait for giveaways, do one per round only. Will do. Sounds good. All right, sun kind of moving. We can we can make out those colors better now. Again, we're still still in the kind of setup phase right now, so thank you guys for your patience. <laughs> All right. So looking at the poll right now, looks like we're 50-50 right now. Kalen choosing a, a very aggressive approach here. Uh, he's going fast. He wants to see if he can maybe catch Della before she can commit to a certain part of the board. Uh, if you're not familiar with the quad phantoms, a lot of times what they want to do is essentially uh, castle in a corner. They stay where they want to stay and you come to them. Now, Kalen uh, is choosing to see if he can get into this corner fast enough before she's able to get all her arcs in the way that she wants. Um, I think that's the approach he's taking. Also, just being able to, to get aggressive in there and make sure that you have shots with all of your ships and see if you can delete one Phantom before, uh, before the opening. I think that would uh, really swing the game. Looks like the Phantoms are getting ready to decloak here. We're going towards the bottom of the board as far forward as possible. We'll see where these A-wings go. So going to the left there, um, most likely going to get either a one bank or a one hard, either committing to the A-wings or the X-wings. I like the move here because by going to the top of the board, if the X-wings decided to slow down a little bit, you might end up having just take, to take range three shots here. So going to go ahead and reveal the maneuvers here. And it looks like we're going with the hard one to start. So going at the X-Wings. They do have the biggest punch with that three dice attack. Though you gotta watch out for Lulo. Lulo is able to get a uh, three dice attack as well. Those interesting giving up the backside to, to the A-Wings because they can chew you up as well. I think I'd like to see from Kaylin here a, an aggressive move with uh, with both Lulo and Tally, especially especially Lulo. Lulo has a, a really nice gap there. Let's go ahead and actually change that to yellow so everybody can see. Uh, nice gap to get in there. Now, if you're not familiar with how gas clouds work, they're a new obstacle that FFG released with Wave 3. We actually created a quick tips video on our YouTube channel. So you can go ahead and check that out. Just search Gold Squadron Podcast Gas Clouds, and you'll be able to find it there. It's one of our latest up uploads. And before we go too far, I do want to remind you guys that this round and all of our coverage this weekend is brought to you by CurledPawCreatives.com. Use that coupon code ATLANTA2019 for 20% off. No minimums, guys. So if you need to get that like, small set of tokens, get your 20% off. Here's your chance now. All right, so slow roll there with the X-Wing staying out of range. Checks for the target lock. Taking a target lock on the rock there. 
So the code is for today and tomorrow. And yes, 20% off is the highest coupon we ever got. We've only gotten 20% with no minimums off one other time. I see some people talking in the chat. Ooh, I like this. Lulo, three straight, has a boost available. Let's see if we can strip some tokens here. All right, we're going to go ahead, focus, probably link to a boost. There's a stress. There it is. So Lulo will have a third dice. All right, two bank from Tally. It's going to put him just beyond that gas cloud. I mean, it has the space to barrel roll to the left if he wants. Um, but obviously, you'll be taking that gas cloud next turn. Only losing an action isn't terrible. See what he chooses to do. Looking at his options. Target lock action. Has all of them available. Green is the one without juke. So actually, let's go ahead and uh, and flip that. Had that wrong in setup. All right, we're at the start of engagement. Lulo firing range two into green. All right, has him in the bullseye. So we'll have Predator. And that's two focuses. Gonna re-roll. It's blank to blank. Spends a focus, gonna have two hits. Versus two, and here's the roll. And able to spend the focus to get out of it or take a shield now. Phantoms always wanna hold on to the evade and spends a focus. No damage. And we have a range three coming from Tally. No obstruction from the gas cloud this turn. This would be Two on three. Took target lock on yellow, so no no uh, no modifiers there and safe. Pink's gonna check if it has arc. Just a bit wide. So I believe that means that no shots are in range because there was nothing uh, here when Kaylin tried to target lock. And we're back, back at the planning phase. So looking at our poll here, it looks like Kaylin has a slight lead, 51 to 48. I mean, that's practically 50-50. Uh, we'll see how this ends up shaking out. All right, so we have another turn here. Looking at the Phantom's options, they, of course, can... Decloak back to the bottom side of the board, if you'd like.
I really like the position of Kalen right now. He has the ability to make sure he has shots on everybody next turn. So Kalen's looking to hopefully be able to initiative kill one of the Phantoms in the opening. This next turn. Last turn, didn't take any damage. So no, as people like to say, no consequences. <laughs> And then uh, I think in a perfect world, Kaylin's able to initiate a kill one and only has three shots and maybe is able to uh, skate out of there with maybe one or two hole on one of his X-Wings. We have 424 people watching all over the world. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Hopefully you guys stick with us all weekend watching live X-Wing from Atlanta, Georgia. And now it looks great, now that we don't have that crazy shadow anymore. <laughs> Still pretty bright in here though. See the uh, the white really popping on those, uh, those, those tokens over there. Anakin Twin, thank you so much for the sub. So Kaylin was hoping to steal a damage in that uh, in that opening with with Lulo and uh, and Tally wasn't able to get it, but I I do really really like the approach there. Keeping the X wings back avoided, you know, two to three shots on one of his X wings. Hmm. Uh, people would ask, what happened to the shadow? Well, the sun's moving, and uh, the window, like the the ceiling, is not a full, uh, full glass. So it's like the edges are like slanted, forty-five degree glass. If that makes sense. That probably doesn't make any sense. All right, here we go. Uh, Decloaking towards the bottom of the board. I think Della's is trying to get a range three engagement here. I'm thinking probably the one bank here. But honestly, with Kaylin's aggressive approach, she's probably going to have range one from, uh, from either the A-wings or the X-wings. All right, with the decloaks complete, we'll see what the maneuvers are. And is it the one hard? It is, so we're looking at the A-wings. Most likely gonna get the one hearts from all of them. Yes. So looking at some of the possibilities here, if Kalen came in quick with both of the X-Wings, he'd really be able to, uh, to get in their face. Now we'll see what these, uh, what Lulo's gonna do. Lulo's a really valuable piece in the list. Does Kalen do the uh, you know hard turn, fo focus, and then rotate towards the back in order to get a shot? We'll see. All right, looks like we're starting with Tally.
All right, here comes Nia Numb. Two straight. All right, throwing down the target lock. So going for a very aggressive actions early on here. All right, we got the three straight here. Coming in aggressive. That's gonna clear the stress. And choosing to barrel roll. And boost into the right. So, dodging some arcs, getting the stress in order to have that additional die. That is a great spot for Lulo right now. Here we go, start of engagement. Here we go. Predator. That's two hits coming in from Tally. Seems to be blank focus. Sorry, the, again, the glare is a little funky right now. Oh, no, it's two of eights. Okay. I'm going to have to really adjust that camera here. This glare is bad. This is from Ello. Three hits. All right. Evade, focus, blank. Choosing to take two shields and hold on to those tokens. It's into orange. Here comes the other X-Wing. Hit two focuses, spending the target lock. Two hits. Has to spend evade now, otherwise it's dead. It's all going into that orange. All right, spending evade, take one. Down to one hole. Oops. <laughs> and it looks like Lulo just barely has arc. And it's going to be range two. That's three dice. Ooh, three hits coming from Lulo. And that's going to be it no matter what. G gets the two evades. Oh, has one left. I must have miscalculated somewhere. One hole left. 
One, two. Oof. Sorry, guys. Not dead. One hole. So looks like Gray does have a shot there. Take back your Fs, guys. It didn't happen. <laughs> Pulling out the range ruler. It's going to be range three. Here we go. Three on three. Two hits. Uses juke, and that's going to be an auto damage. So they, did he spend the focus? Hold on one second, guys. So. All right, it was a glare issue. We're good. Range one, orange into tally. Just a little better. All right, evaded. Safe. All right, after that, that whole onslaught, nothing's dead. No damage on Kalen's side. Very, very nice. Okay. We had 171 players here at today's tournament. I want to thank you guys for your patience as we work through through round one, round one uh, fixes as we figure out things that have gone wrong. So I'm going to be back. I'm going to adjust a couple other things. I'm going to see if we can lower the exposure just a bit on the top camera um, on our, uh, our table view here. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sitting back down. I think I may have solved our dice glare issue. We'll find out here in a few as we get dice rolling. So we'll see what the solutions are here for, uh, for Della. Let's take a look here. I think we're going to use the top-down camera for this one. All right, we're going forward two with a decloak. All right, looks like they're all still staying in the formation. <laughs> Rogue Lamb says, I just noticed there's a number pink on both sides. Oh, which one's better? Well, we'll find out. All right, so we're, actually, oh, we're splitting the formation up here a little bit, going to the top side of the board. Clive, I want to say thank you so much for your donation of $50. Thank you so much. All right. So splitting up that formation a little bit. So hard turning through the cloud, just, just takes away the action, has the evade up, so has that defensive, and essentially that is a offensive token as well. Looks like it's just barely going to clip there. Clive is a legend in the UK. I haven't got to talk to Clive too much. Clive, how you doing? Oh, accidents. They happen. <laughs> accidents happen. So it looks like it actually did make it through. It's going to be a focus. Somebody sent me a suggestion the other day to uh, that I needed to make a Twitter account for Number Pink. It's pretty funny. All right, he, here's Lulo. Hard turn two. That'll relieve the stress. And with all the phantoms facing the other way, I mean, I'm pretty pretty much expecting a boost focus here. Focus boost, excuse me. And there is the focus boost. Boost using the A-Wing's ship ability for anybody who's not familiar with it. I believe it's called gyro Skype gyro Skype Scopic targeting. All right. And four straight coming from Tally. Most likely the focus rotate here. There it is. Focus, rotate. Giving a shout out to some of our people from the UK who are watching right now. Refined gyro stabilizers. Ah, okay, there you go. One straight from the X Wing at the top.
from what I'm hearing, it looks like we should be okay uh, with BCP up and running. It looks like we got a block there. Oh, or just barely fits. All right, just barely a block. We are at the start of engagement. Here we go. All right, here goes. Starting LO, seeing if he has a shot on pink. Looks like it's going range one into gray there at the top. Hit, crit, two eyeballs. That's spending the focus. Three hits and a crit. Yeah. Huh? So, I'm sorry, say that again? It was two focus? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. So evade blank. This is at the phantom at the top of the board. Here. This one here. S spending the evade only takes two shields. Going range one in the orange. That is gonna be it. Just figuring out how many cards. And no natties on that one. We're staying cloaked. It's gonna be off the board. Lou the Lunatic, thank you so much for s gifting some subs. Join in the gifting club. Has a shot here on the back. Tally into gray. Has already lost a couple shields. Only two dice. Range two. Hit crit. Who needs mods? <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a crit no matter what. And we got a wounded pilot. Orange is removed from the board. After all the initiative fives to finish doing their thing. Della has an opportunity to answer back with some shots. Looks like she has all shots here. She's done no damage so far, so I mean, it's time, time to try to dig something in here. So range one into Ello, that's the black one model. Go ahead and mark that as orange. Be a little easier to keep track of. All right, here we go. 
attack dice are hot today. Two hits and a crit. No mods for that one. Two blanks. Shields down. So he has elusive, though, and heroic. Forgot about heroic. All right, so gets one. Two shields down. All right, we got range, range two with a focus. Has a focus available, that's two. And one evade, gonna juke it. It becomes a focus and becomes two hits. That's half points on Elo, 29 points scored. Range one going into Elo could take him out here. That's four dice available with a focus. That could do it, four hits. Needs at least one evade to live, and that's gonna be it. Elo taken off the board. Can't heroic that. So scoring 57 points, does it, is it enough to put her back in the game? Um, She's lost, a, she, so she lost one Phantom and a significant amount on Gray as well. It just really depends on how, uh, how she can capitalize on this. Gray has no cloak right now, as you can see there at the top of the board. And uh, some would say uh, that the Empire struck, struck back. <laughs> Didn't joke courtesy of Crazy Vulcan. <laughs> so 30 minutes left in the round still anybody's game I saw somebody ask Dion where are your crit overlays there I'm I'm actually in the background trying to make them work um, some things Tyco 1707 thank you so much for your donation $150. You're absolutely amazing. We're, we're crushing our goals, guys. We are crushing our goals. You guys are amazing. If I take a peek back at our goal meter without changing the game, can I do that? I think I can. Nope, that's not it. We have done it. Thank you so much, Tycho. You're amazing. Can I get some gumboats? We need some gumboats in the chat for Tycho. We also need some gumboats in the chat for Clive. And you know what? Give some for Isofan too. He donated earlier. Oh, we also can't forget gumboats for Lou the Lunatic as well for donating some subs. One of the most amazing things doing this and traveling around the world, doing this extra thing, is seeing your guys' support. So I just want to say, again, as always, thank you so much. You guys are the ones that make it possible for me to travel all over the place and uh, get this stuff done. Gumboats. Gumboats, question mark. So um, at least that's what we call the, you know, is the assault gumboat. It's alpha class now, right? Alpha Class Star Wing is the official name. We call them gumboats. If you're new to the Gold Squadron community, welcome. But we call them gumboats here. Gumboats in the chat, always. Isofan says, two hours into a two-day streaming event and all goals are met. Your move, Dion. <laughs> I'm biding my time. <laughs> uh, a couple people saying excited to see gumboats with passive sensors I, I as well am looking at that upgrade for, uh, 
for Star Wings. If you were watching League Night um, on Wednesday, we stream every Wednesday from our store, Pastimes Comics and Games, uh, Gold Squadron, and I was flying some Star Wings, and yeah, they need some help. They need some help for sure. At least on the generic side. Obviously, we figured out that uh, Hatchet Man is very good. All right. Again, I'm in the background right now trying to fix my crits. Thank you guys so much for your patience. That one's okay. That well, looks like, did I get it? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a test run here for, all right, there it is. Wounded pilot, do an action, roll a die and a hit or crit. Take a stress, ah! Now you know what? So we've we've almost met all of our goals, right? So we're thank you Rasta. We've we've uh, we've almost made all of our goals here. Last one is a sub goal that we're trying to trying to peak there. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about another another cause that I like to to funnel your guys' support to. All right, here we go. Decloak time. Forward two. Yes, donations do count towards sub goal. I need to 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 calculate those. I guess maybe we maybe we already hit it. <laughs> and there's that decloak to evade. Are we K-turning? Oh, there it is. Phantom K-turn. And waiting for pink next. Now, it's important to note that if Della is able to keep those evade to the end of the round, she will be able to decloak, but next turn, because those phantoms will be stressed, will not be able to do the free evade action. Now, one of the things we're going to be talking about later is Team USA going to Poland to try to bring back the European Team Championships and the European Championship. We're going to talk about that here uh, during our break. Marcel Manzano is the team capitan. All right, here's a hard turn. Making that boost there. All right, three bank.
And while we wait here for our next maneuvers and actually want to say thank you to Felt, Feltzibato, Feltzibo, that T, man, that's so weird. Fel, Felsebto, Felsebto, thank you so much for gifting the subs. Isofan says he's proud of you, chat. Uh, there's a lot of people stepping up today and, and helping people out with gifting subs. You guys are amazing, man. Supporting the channel, also getting other people gumboats so they can be a part of this, this community of GSP doing the gumboat thing. Amazing. All right, so we're deciding on the boost there. Evade boost. We're flipping S-foils there. And we're going to do a Talon roll. And this is 9-num. Executed a red maneuver. Gonna go ahead and use the pattern analyzer. There's the focus. We're gonna link it to barrel roll. And Nine Num's ability is going to go ahead and strip off those stress tokens. Taking a minute to go ahead and explain all the shenanigans. And the regular action will be target lock. So, explaining there, you get the barrel roll. You get the. <laughs> The barrel roll link off of the pattern analyzer, you relieve, relieve, remove the stress, and because pattern analyzer doesn't say anything about skipping your perform action step, because 9num is able to lose a stress, you still get your perform action step. There's the third action there. And because foils are closed, but that phantom's in the bullseye, it's going to still have four dice. Range one, target lock focus. Who needs the target lock? Just spend the focus. You're fine. I guess you could spend the target lock if you want to. Do have a couple of phantoms pointing at you. That's the, the choice there. And gets it. Three hits and a crit. And Gray is netties, but still takes it. Only had two hole left anyway. Two phantoms down. 102-57. Caleb. So Lou the Lunatic asking, how much does Twitch support you guys compared to Patreon and other forms of support? So Patreon is the um, highest percentage of support there. Um, the way subs work, currently we're a affiliate, and we get 50% essentially of all subs. Um, I guess technically donations. Straight donations is the best, right? Because like, that's 100%. Um, support like a uh, use and then patreon and then it would be twitch subs which is very significant especially with uh with twitch prime that's like free money essentially um we're working on trying to get get uh get partner here this twitch uh keeps arguing with me they don't understand <laughs> All right, two hits and an eyeball. No mods there. And blank focus. Using elusive on nine num. Mm, blank to blank. Can choose to spend the focus on defense. Spends a focus, gonna take one shield on nine. Uh, 
All right, range three, same target. This is from green, going into nine. And just one. Has a chance with Juke. Juke it. Oh, that one actually has the wrong one, has crack shot. So no Juke there, no damage. Okay, they're going to go ahead and recloak, but they will not be able to get the evade because there's no way to get rid of the stress before doing those free evade actions. I would like to remind you guys that we are sponsored by Curled Paw Creators for this round. Use coupon code ATLANTA2019 for 20% off all of your acrylic game token needs. And there's no minimums there. So even if you have a small order or a large order, use the code 20% off. Especially if you need a couple more strain tokens, maybe a couple more shields or something like that. It's a good opportunity. Uh, this is the biggest coupon that I've ever received. Uh, we only had it one other time. 20% no minimums is pretty awesome. All right, so looking at a couple wind conditions here, both of these phantoms are fully healthy. The Lulo is on an exit trajectory, though has the option to turn and boost here as well. Um, we have the decloak. I think to try to get away, oh, but I have to do a green maneuver or a blue maneuver. <laughs> let's take let's take a better look up at that top part of the board by going going to the top cam. Seeing what options we have here. Hmm. B Cooper 85. I sent you a message on Facebook earlier regarding Instagram. Let me know. I will hit you up, man. Phantoms are definitely in a rough spot. Um, Nian has, I mean, I think it's a pretty obvious K turn. I mean, it's almost no consequences. You don't have any stress right now. What's the worst thing that can happen? I mean, if she doesn't de decloak, I mean, that doesn't hurt. Hmm. Very weird spot. And two straight, three straight, and two banks are the only blues it has. I really should do a Neon Numb quick tip, shouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know why I haven't done that before. Somebody send me a message. Remind me to do that. I don't know what Della does here. She's in a really tough spot. I mean, you can avoid taking shots by trying to go fast here.
Yeah, I mean, I think going back to the table view here, um, I mean, I'm just thinking probably D cloak and forward three might be the best shot to have an opportunity to shoot at tally. But uh, I think that might be the best move. I have an opportunity to shoot, though. If I'm if I'm Kalen, I am not turning in. I don't think. I think I'm going away and trying to use the back arc. All right, waiting for opponents to move those dials. Here we go. We'll start with the decloak. Remember, she's not going to end up with evades because it is an evade action. Everyone's try hard except for me. <laughs> I'm just like, why am I? <laughs> All right, so three bank in there. You said she wanted to go to Poland, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll go do that now. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right, so choosing the three bank, trying to see if we can avoid all shots here. Or I guess if Tally is coming three bank here, could catch her, though we're going to get that gas cloud obstruction. All right, and waiting on the action on green. I'm gonna go for the evade. So Lulo, hard turn, focus, rotate, most likely keep that gun on target. It's choosing to boost instead. I'm actually really surprised not to see the, uh, the rotate there. And here's the three bank from Tally. That's a couple arcs on. Has a barrel roll though. Arc dodged, range one. This is number pink on number pink action. It's coming. K turn from Nian. Nothing in uh, in his arc at range one, so just gonna drop a stress there. But has the boost from pattern analyzer. Should still be outside of range one. Let's find out. Oh. Oh, he's got it. Removes the stress. Gets another action. Let me drop in the focus there, most likely. Or a target lock. There's a target lock.
We're at the start of engagement here. Range one. So they're calling it, calling just see if it actually was in arc. Just double check. I think Neon Numb's ability does have to be in arc. Let's take a look here. Judge. Yeah, it is in range one. So they're debating whether or not it actually is in arc. We'll see. All right, so we're going to get the check here. It's range two to pink. It's whether or not it's in arc. Waiting for the judge to make his decision. It's always a tough situation to be in. <laughs> I, I've, I've blocked an advanced sensor's uh, barrel roll with Gary uh, with Boss by a quarter of a millimeter. So instead of being out of arc of everything and outmaneuvered on the shuttle, I was range one of everything and no shot for Gary. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it is in fact an arc, called an arc, removes the stress, and still gets an additional action. Uh, I think he should have gotten a, another action, but looks like he missed that opportunity. Here we go. Spends a lock. I guess he did. He he took the lock. Hit crit. Two shields down. It's all going into pink. And that's two coming in from Tally. Two blanks. Two more cards into pink. Only three minutes left in the round. At this point, um, system open rules, if you're familiar with them, it's all about the wins. It's all about the wins. You want to make sure that uh, you're looking for five and one. MOV doesn't really matter unless you make the cut, and then it's determined um, if there's like an odd number of, uh, of things going on. Um, And we are in round one of today's event. Oh. 
Only a couple minutes left. This will most likely be the last round here. I want to say again, thank you everybody for joining us. I'm going to try to make some slight adjustments to the camera in between rounds. Uh, we have some giveaways, some quick giveaways to do, followed by round two. Now, if you've never participated in any of our giveaways, make sure you stick around. If anybody can join. Literally, all you have to do is type in the chat. Typing more doesn't help you win more, but it feels good. So uh, when it happens, it's your time. Be prepared. We hit a bunch of the goals really early, and uh, Lord Isofan has, has, uh, has decreed that even though we hit the stretch goals all before and during round one, that we're going to go ahead and um, do one per round. So make sure to stick it out with us. Huh? No, it's not cheating if you're here. <laughs> Ryan Lunacy, what's, what's your Twitch handle again? Ryan A. Ryan a Lunacy uh, is here in the flesh. He <laughs> has his phone. He's like, is it cheating if I'm here? No. no. That just means I, can just, I save on shipping. I just handle it, tend it to you. <laughs> Here we go. D cloak from green going to the right. Well, our visual right. It's left. All right. So that's time in the round, waiting for uh, this last few moves to happen. <coughs> Getting the K turn from pink. Della just trying to get some points here. Hard two, staring into the face of green. McKnight I mean, Numb has no reason to really sit there. Probably has the boost available. Just gonna attempt the boost. And clears it. All right, here's a three bank from Pink. That's Tally. Chilling guy. Thank you for the one cheer. <laughs> if you guys are not familiar with cheers, it's uh, if a fun way to, uh, that's, I guess that's another way you can, uh, you can donate. That is 100% donation as well. It's a Twitch currency that you can buy, and one bit is equal to one penny. Every penny counts, though. All right, checking ranges here. It's going to be range three unobstructed. But it's a fun way when something exciting happens, throw some pennies. It's like, you know, playing bingo for pennies. It's fun. Did that a lot as a kid. All right, here we go. Going at pink. Heroic. 
Does that one have heroic? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Two blinks. Nah. Nothing. <clears throat> Boom. Two hits. Spends a focus from downtown. That's from Lulo. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun. All right. That's uh, from, uh, you, if you guys didn't pay attention, they're shaving a haircut from Pink Monkey 001. Or Pin Monkey? Pin Monkey. All right, no shots for green. Pink has an opportunity to maybe do half points. He's got to get two on either of the A-wings or three on the X-wing. Looking for natties. And just one. Uh, takes a shield, and that's the game. There's a handshake. I want to say thank you so much to the players for uh, playing and just putting on a good show. Thank you guys so much. And now, and also thank you, excuse me, to Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code ATLANTA2019 for 20% off. It's giveaway time. Giveaway time. I got to open the giveaway machine, so don't spam the chat yet, okay? Give me a second to turn on the giveaway machine. All right. So uh, if you've never participated in a Gold Squadron podcast giveaway, it's super fun and super easy to do, all right? All you got to do is type in the chat. Oh, I got to re-up my authorization with Nightbot. Okay, let's meet that. And resetting. There we go. All you got to do is go ahead and type in the chat to become in active become active for uh for this giveaway we got some round one cards also if we take a peek at our stretch goals here um, we're also going to be giving away both of the wedge cards because of our sub goal um you know being reached so let's go back to our giveaway screen before we do our giveaways Use coupon code ATLANTA2019 for 15% off, no minimum, at District Foundry. Awesome 3D printed created pieces for, uh, for X-Wing. They have this really awesome uh, deck tray, deck tray, excuse me, template tray, all kinds of really cool things. Check them out. That's District Foundry. All righty, so we got some cool cards here we're going to be giving away, as well as two wedges. Let's go ahead and get this done. Now, if you win a giveaway, it's very easy to do. All you do is type exclamation point win, and a link is going to pop up. You go ahead and click that link. If you're on and on the Android app, it will not open the link. But if you go to the top right corner, press open in your browser, and then you'll have access to it. It's really important that you accurately put in your information for the giveaways because if the information is that inaccurate or incomplete, your prize will not ship, and it'll simply go into our uh, into our stores for the next one. So it's really important that we get those things right, um, because what I don't have time to do is tracking down people for putting wrong addresses and stuff like that. So let's make sure, I want to make sure everybody gets their swag, make sure you fill out the form correctly. All right, here we go. Our very first prize, and also remember what you won. Our very first prize is a Finch Dallo. Finch is always first. It's also how I mark the pile of cards to know <laughs> when, uh, when each round starts and stops. All right, so here we go. Finch, who's getting Finch? Oops, I didn't close the window, minimize it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, the winner is Cursed Kiwi. Cursed Kiwi, Cursed Kiwi. Boom. Congratulations to Cursed Kiwi. All right, the next one, um, if you're not familiar with the, uh, the X-Wing programmers, there's Sir George and Jordan and there's uh, uh, Sozin, there's a there's a big group of them. Actually, have all their names here on the back of this card. They me they made these. Uh, here we go. All all their names. They made these awesome cards uh, using programming jokes that I don't understand all of them, but they're super cool cards. And this is the Null card. You have all the information you need there. Programmers, 
Love him. That's hilarious. There's your TIE fighter. Has leaving a little comma ray at the top. <laughs> so who's going to win the null? Three, two, one. Roll it. Congratulations to Mr. Kosket78. Again, only people in Twitch are eligible for these giveaways. So if you're watching on YouTube, and, you're not wa and if you can watch on Twitch, come on over to Twitch. It's more fun. <laughs> Next up, we have a Loric card made by Gold Squadron Podcast. One of our cards here. I this is probably this is one of my favorites here. Has that like 3D action. Oh, I know Loric isn't good right now, but still fun card to have. Here we go. Three, two, one, roll it. Congratulations to Ta Therese. Therese. Next card comes from the Onyx Squadron out of Australia. It's a Dutch Vander card. Here we go. Three, two, one, roll it. Congratulations to the Blaine Train. Toot toot, toot toot. All right, and last but not least, uh, for our standard giveaways, we have a Darth Maul from our Ink series. We have a bunch of cards of these. Next one in the Ink series is a Clone Wars cartoon style uh, card coming up. You probably saw it in our weight screen when we were cycling through. Oh, Looks so good. I actually have the original art to that. It's going to be going on my wall here pretty soon. So, well, like not here, but, you know, at home, in the studio. All right, here we go. Who's going to win this mall? Three, two, one. Chillin' Guy, 85. Congratulations. All right. So, remember, exclamation point win. Completely fill out that form. Now, uh, we have two wedge cards to give away, okay? Two. They, they were exclusive to Star Wars Celebration, and they're part of our goal giveaways as we were hitting our goals. And um, we're going to go ahead and do one of them, or both both cards here, but we're going to be doing that one, and we'll put a little check mark on it. Actually, we can go ahead and do that right now. Here we go. Boom. Check mark. Met it. Giving it away. Two wedge cards. Who's the winner of the first card? Three, two, one. MG11, congratulations for your win. MG11 winning your Star Wars Celebration exclusive wedge. And last but not least, our second Star Wars Celebration wedge goes to... Amanthita. 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 Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around for giveaways. But before we go, I want to take a second and talk about Team USA. If you guys don't know, in August, late August, the European Championships are happening. But right before the European Championships, the European Team Championships are happening. And uh, my co-host, Marcel Manzano, is trying to raise funds to get Team USA to Poland to be able to try to capture that European title um, for the championships as well as the team championships. Just try to, you know, go go over there and, and uh, kick some butt <laughs> for Team USA. So if you're interested in, uh, in helping out there, we're actually going to go ahead and drop a link in the chat right now. Uh, let me go ahead and Marcel was supposed to send it to me. Oh, Marcel, you didn't put it where you said you were going to put it. It's a busy man. There's the link. Come on, loading, loading, loading. All right, there's the link. Oh, that did not come out good. Let's try that again. My link just didn't didn't look right. Oh, I know Europe ain't a walk in the park, but we have to try. The USA's got to try, so uh, <laughs> should be should be some fun there. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a little break. I'm gonna go adjust a couple of things, try to even out the table a bit. Uh, but we'll be back here with round two. I'm gonna guess in about ten minutes. All right, let's take a look. So that'll be, we're going to call that 12.50 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be back.
All right, everybody, got to be the bearer of some bad news. So um, I just received word that the BCP, the Best Coast Pairing servers, are not just out of whack. They're completely down, and they look to be not fixable for today. So the worst-case scenario, unfortunately, is going down right now. We're going to have to transfer everything into a different type of tournament software to get it going. Of course, that's not only putting in the players, but also inserting all of the results from last turn and making sure that you have all the things paired. Um, <laughs> yep, it happens sometimes. That's the way technology works. But uh, Cryodex to the rescue. So we're going to be going to be using some Cryodex here. Uh, so um, that wait time that's in the corner of your screen on the wait screen is probably going to be a bit more than um, than what we're expected here. Uh, we had some issues right off the bat, and honestly. I've been in all the system opens, and um, they've they've been tweaking it little by little, and it's been it's been improving. But the, I don't think it's a number of uh, number of players issue, or even a number of events people, because it's not any different than really what has happened at the other system opens. Um, something I, I'm I'm not a computer guy. All I know something is wrong, and it's not going to work. So uh, yep, it's going to be a little bit a little bit. They're deciding now as they're entering things in um, whether or not we're going to take a lunch break now. It'll be an early lunch break. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to go ahead call Chico. I mean, th th they're working with B with uh, Cryodex right now. We're, we're, uh, we're switching it over. Well, we, Ian is. So... Sorry, you guys. I know it, it sucks, but this is this is what we got to do. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that wait time. Um, I'm going to put in here one o'clock, and if I need to, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to talk about a new, some new content that's coming to Gold Squadron. Perfect. Okay, check this out. Okay, um, Sunday after we're done at nine. Excuse me, at nine thirty, eight thirty Central, we have. Uh, a new show coming to Gold Squadron Podcast, hosted by um, three amazing people. Um, if you have, if maybe you haven't heard of them before, maybe you have, but uh, it's called Echo Base. So Echo Base is a uh, a group of three beautiful gentlemen who analyze and watch games uh, that have been recorded already. And uh, they're giving their insight live into a game. So it's, it's a, a rewatching of a game that either they've recorded or I've recorded. Uh, it'll be different each week. And uh, they're just giving their insight. It's just trying to... Um, trying to... <laughs> looking at the chat here. Sorry. Uh, just giving, giving some insight. Uh, one of the, the, the hosts, notable... Wow, I'm struggling talking today. One of the notable hosts, name-wise, that you probably know is Kevin Lights. Uh, so yeah, I'm super happy to have Echo Base added to the Gold Squadron lineup. So it's going to be Echo Base on Gold Squadron, uh, the Gold Squadron Network, I guess is what we're going to call it. Uh, but super excited about that. Stickers, yeah, go for stickers, man. They're all yours. Um, so super excited about that. They do a wonderful job, and if you've never heard of them, uh, you should be super excited. Again, first show is happening tomorrow, 8:30 p.m., and it'll be every Sunday. Uh, at 8:30 30, 30 p.m. Central Time, so make sure. Oh, that's a that's a that's a Josh Holt. Are you sponsored by Best Coast Parents? I am not sponsored by Best Coast Parents. <laughs> Josh Holt says, uh, uh, "It's in the name." <laughs> oh, being trolled, being trolled. Yep. All right. Hi, Andrew. Oh, I party foul. I just party fouled. They were all in order and everything. Whoa. It's mixed up now. Thank you. What? Huh. Huh. So I, I just dropped all the prize cards. Oh. They were in a nice stack <laughs> and in order for each round. So now they just. It's more <laughs> Random. How's it going, Andrew? Oh, <laughs> it's going. <laughs> 
That, that first round was uh, a very unfortunate circumstance of me blocking a, a barrel roll from Gurry. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's right. I'm just going to – I'll lose one more, and I'll just come and commentate for the rest of the day, even though it's going to take, like, four and a half hours. So, <laughs> hi, guys. Yeah. Well, hi. I mean, I love your company. But oh, I'd also like oh. to, to see you crush some people <laughs> with, with I, Boss. I mean, like – Dream crushing was kind of the goal, but now that I'm already a loss in, it's like, I don't know if I can do that anymore. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Knuckles, have the frosted tokens always been up, or did you put them back up? Uh, there, there still should be some force tokens left, and maybe some evades. Uh, and and uh, stress and like ion and stuff are still there, but uh, there are no definitely no more um, shields. Shields probably went the first uh, Calculates, go, right? charges. Um, focus. Uh, focus. I, I may have like one or two more focus. Like, <laughs> Get them now. 20% yeah. off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's Atlanta a great, 20 great time to do it. Atlanta 2019. Uh, how, was the, how was the match with Della? Um, so they bas it basically came down to one turn where she decided to hard turn into the A-wings uh -huh. at the top left side of the board, and the X-wings just came in and... And just, just, yeah, yeah, it chomped. just, yeah, yep. And then from there, she couldn't get the angles that she needed to get multiple shots. There was two or three turns where she didn't have any shots at all. Yeah, and that's just okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, I always got to see how our, our fellow barons are of doing. Of course, of course. Um, uh, oh, thanks, guys. You're so nice. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you like my shop because that, you let me do stuff like this. That's right, no, and and pay your mortgage. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that, that that is that is a very very small point of, uh, <laughs> you know, mortgage, water bill, lights. Yeah, yeah, th those are kind of important things. Um, cool. Well, we're sorry that we. I mean, I have nothing to do with it because I'm not a BCP guy. Yeah, but man, well, okay, like. So, uh, you know, uh, obviously everyone's going to say, oh, it's the, the, qu the amount of people here. Yeah. Honestly, okay, so, it's like, we have full service right now. Yep. Um, and it, uh, like, this is 177 people. Mm -hmm. um, Denver was 167 with the same amount of side uh, events that were going yep. on with Keyforge and Destiny and that kind of stuff. Yep. And we didn't have a problem. It ran a little slow, but it wasn't, like, a, a full crash where you can't even access the, yeah. the app. Um, and I'm not trying to apologize for, for BCP. It, it, it it's sucks. just life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's how it works sometimes. Um, but I don't think it's a, um, I don't think it's specifically, like, just because of the, the amount of people are here. Uh, right. There's obviously something happening on the back end that is a problem. Some, some, uh -huh. What? <laughs> Andrew, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Josh holds here to, to throw them on the road bus. No. Yeah. So, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity. Let's talk about Team USA. Oh, yeah. I okay, heard, yeah. I heard a thing is happening. Yeah, we, we have Josh here. We have me here. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Done. All right. <laughs> Hold it up. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's um, uh, we were um, whenever you messaged us yep. to like to, to to create Team USA for going to Euros. Um, I was like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can do Poland. That's that's kind of hard because we were going to Dragon Con the weekend after that. And um, uh, and it's expensive to get to Poland, especially um, if you're flying from Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah. So, note, if you try and just fly from Birmingham to Krakow yeah. or Krakow. Krakow. Uh, I'm really uh, – to, to Poland. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, you just, uh, if you just try to fly straight, it's like an extra $800. Um, so, like, you have to kind of, like, go from, like, Birmingham to Chicago to Sweden to, yeah. <laughs> to Poland. <laughs> bing, 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 yeah. bing, 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 uh, all, all individual flights from individual airlines. Right, So yeah. you have to, like, all match it up and everything like that. And, and hope that nothing goes wrong on the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just roll natties. It's but fine. It's going to be – it's actually going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm super I'm, excited. I'm really excited because, I've, one, I've never been over to Europe before. Yeah. Um, and uh, Poland is definitely one of the one of the places. It's just so pretty. Yeah. Uh, my, Rasta's in the chat. Come and have a go if you think you're enough. <laughs> I mean, I am enough. <laughs> <laughs> I am a champion. I'm coming for you. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it should be a good time. Krakow. Krak Krakow. 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 <laughs> I know uh, our. Crack, crack. Uh, I know Charlie Hicks um, is is just probably, like rolling over right now. Just how because I, I mispronounce so much stuff and yeah. he's like he's German and. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So the way the way it came up is the guys running the European Team Championships messaged me first and they're like Dion make Team USA thank you <laughs> and I was like 
Uh, so, okay. Uh, I should have more America on my forehead. I, and yeah, uh, it <laughs> Yeah, I was I was like, all right, who who are the most recent champions? So that's just that's, <laughs> all right. So I, I I was I don't know why I was on that list. Maybe just because like you were like, oh, Andrew could probably go. Yeah, that's that's, that's exactly. <laughs> what I, was. But, I think Andrew. But then I I validated it by winning Denver, that's, so that's, it's fine. I I told the future is what it was. <laughs> See, but we announced Team USA after you won, so it's like it would line oh, up. Oh, okay, right? yeah, yeah. So nobody nobody really knows. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, super excited about it. Um, they, they reached out to me, and I was like, well, I, I can't, like, the way the dates worked out, I can't play in it because of how, like, I had already booked my tickets to Poland just to cover the European And they're so expensive that yeah. you, can't, you can't really change those. Right, exactly. So, like, if, uh, if it works, if it all works out, I might be able to go get out a day earlier mm -hmm. to, to, to get out there. But right now, we're just trying to raise funds specifically for the team to get out there. Yeah. Um, Got more coming. But it, yeah, so we have um, me, uh, Josh Holt, uh, Tyler Tippett, um, Marcel uh, from Gold Squadron, and then um, Richard Sue. Yeah, Richard Sue. Yeah, he's every, he goes to every tournament. He's right. probably gonna be he there. He has anyways. to be there. Yeah, he's like America's like sweetheart. Yeah, right? so we kind of <laughs> have to have him on the team. And then uh, we uh, also have uh, someone from uh, yeah. So I Ian Colombo, yep. who is an American citizen. But, but he lives in Italy. But he lives in Italy. Yep. It's, that's right. So uh, counts. So, so the way that the, the team counts. tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Johnson Johnson giving us faces here. Uh, the way that the team tournament works is uh, you have um, basically one alternate that can, that can basically sub in yep. um, in between rounds and that kind of stuff. So because uh, we're going to be playing a lot of games. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're you know, like, hey, I'm kind of tired. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on edge today. Right. Um, you know, I need you to. to yeah. Andy. Andy Yoon. Excuse me. Uh, so no. No. Duncan Howard. No. Duncan Howard. We, we tried. He was unavailable. <laughs> yeah. He just got a like a brand new job. Uh, so he's yeah. like, I can't. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Trying to get vacation days, uh, especially as like a as a nurse, is very difficult. Yeah. He's you know busy. He's like saving lives yeah. and stuff. Yeah. 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 He's he's doing real work. <laughs> <laughs> And he's, it's like a trauma nurse or something like that. Like, it's like a big deal. It's not, yeah. not, not like, let me just change your bedpan. It's like, let me help save your life Yeah. type of stuff. So, yeah. Rolling natties and X-wing in in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he's like stitching people up saying, save me, Duncan. Right? Yep. Like, that's. <laughs> oh, nice. You got, you, uh, you yeah. got a little. Yes. Yeah, so Are you giving away some of these? Yeah. Okay. Those, those two pairs. Okay, cool. Sam was like, you know what Yeah, Yeah, because we have some extras. Yeah. Um, did you already show them off? I haven't. Uh, I was, do, I was very, want... yeah, I was very proud of these. So um, uh, for most, like most of you, obviously you guys aren't here, unfortunately, but uh, we're, we're hosting a, an after party um, uh, at a local bar or whatever. And um, I wanted to, to make something that was um, unique to Atlanta, just mm -hmm. because like this is Atlanta's first large yeah. premier X-wing event. Um, so we have a uh, little, uh, oh, here we go, uh, little Coca-Cola um, styled Atlanta System Open target locks, and there's a uh, there's a blue um, pair with it as well. Uh, frosted acrylic, um, really Ooh. pretty, but uh, you know, um, we wanted to make make it with. Uh, uh, make it have something unique for Atlanta. Yeah, um, I mean this is this is because we we've been bidding we've been bidding for a large <laughs> premier tournament down here for so long. So here's the, here's the question now, with having such a good turnout, do you mm -hmm. think this is going to be? I sure hope constant? so. I mean, I would. This is I like would, in your backyard, practically, right? Yeah, I mean, I I mean it's only two hours away from Birmingham, so right. and uh, they're not going to have one in Birmingham. <laughs> no. Man, if they had the one in Birmingham, Birmingham it would be amazing. <laughs> uh, well, no, see, then everyone would get so confused because it's they're like, wait, Birmingham, UK? And they're like, no, Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> the ham. ham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 171, it's a very good turnout. And that is that they sold more tickets than what are here, right? Because yeah. if you don't show up to the event, you, you're out your money. Like, that's how it works. Yeah, well, and, there, and there's still a lot of... Oh, I, I, we got we to do a couple shout-outs. Uh, ISO fan... Uh, just just dropped 500 on the uh, on the team USA. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Yep. So if um, so let's see. Let's go ahead and re <laughs> we'll go ahead and re refresh the page here. Oh wow, man! So thank you so much. That's amazing. We're at 575 out of 6,000. It costs a lot of money to bring six people from the U.S. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and so there's um, some different rewards and stuff for that. And oh. now I want to let you guys know, like this is not associated with Gold Squadron at all, even though like. 
It kind of. I mean, like, it kind of. You is, invited us, but right. it's it's not like this isn't the Gold Squadron yeah. team or anything like that. This is just. Yeah. You know. Well, and it, and it's not even it, honestly like like my shop doesn't have anything to do with it either. Right. Um. Uh. Mainly just because like going to Poland is very expensive. Yeah. Uh, and that was like my my wife and I are going to Japan later this year, yep. so this was not uh, a planned expense yeah. by any means. Exactly. So what what we're doing is um, what we're doing is depending on where how much you donate, you get a different like thank you gift. So uh, fifty dollar donation, you get a signed picture of all Team USA members. <laughs> Woo! Everyone yeah. wants a signed picture of me. That's right, baby. <laughs> uh, for a hundred dollar donation, you get it. You get also get a Team USA T-shirt, which we're still working on the design, but it's definitely going to be that super sweet ego, uh, yeah. giving us the yes. You know, <laughs> that's that's happening. We're working on the rest of the back. Uh, for 250 or more, uh, you get your name printed on the Team USA T-shirt as an official sponsor. Oh, that'd be cool! Like, it better be like on the sides. I think right now it's going to be like planned for on the bottom because like the expense for the shirt. Yeah, it, yeah, it does get like, yeah, it does get more really expensive, expensive on the sides. But yeah, it'll be on the bottom. And then uh, if you donate $500 or more, you get all those things. Plus, your Team USA shirt will be signed by all team members, and you'll get a s- swag item from the event, and it's to be determined because we don't know what we this is. We don't know are. what it is, we're, yeah. We're bringing you back something. Uh, 